Hey everyone, this is Mark the Scooter Loon and Mark the Knife Maker on YouTube. The Knife Maker 123, anyone in the bug out bags and stuff, um, you can check out my other channel. But this one, the Scooter Loon, definitely fits who I am. I am a loon, so I hope you guys are smiling. I wanted to make this vid because a few have asked about the um, color changing light kits that I added to my chest protector and the scooter. Um, but first, next week, my son Tommy is coming. I'm hoping to figure out this GoPro and the app so I can make vids with him for uh, you know a whole week, day and night. I hope you guys you know check out the vids that I hope will work. Check out Voro Motors. I'm gonna add the link. Um, so far, they've been really first class with me. Any questions I've had, Voro has really got right back to me. They've answered every question. They've helped um, with everything I was curious about. They sent me a, um, a free um, brake bleeding kit. And check out Tone's Adventures. Tone, or Tony. Sorry, man. Check out um, Tone's Adventures. I'm going to add the link. I hope it's cool with him. He makes really cool vids. I have a list here <laughs> and I'm trying to read off, but um, anyway, I made this vid. I know I babble a lot in my vids and it really sucks doing these static vids in my room, but I still can't figure out my GoPro and the app and everything, but I will figure it out. I just, you know, it really sucks that I have to spend another 400 bucks on a new GoPro just to make vids where you guys can see the clear vids and hear me talking so give me time thanks for watching so anyway on to this vid I wanted to make a vid again a few have asked about the color changing light kits that I have um, mentioned where I got them and how I mounted them so the the kits that I have I've got from the Dollar General store they were like five bucks and you get one light strip you get a free not a free but it comes with this I'm trying to show in the cam <laughs> really clear it comes with the um, the controller so you get the light kit it's a USB light kit color changing light kit you can get it in clear white two different colors or the color changing light strips I'm gonna show both of them but um, for five dollars really I think it's a bargain if you guys watch a lot of the videos of um, the ride groups that they do they all have the color changing and blinking lights on the helmets Amazon and eBay they have all these these really cool kits you can get the blinking lights for your helmet your your vest your backpack whatever but if you're gonna ride at night really take the time to check out the vids um, they're really cheap you can get the, the the blinking ones for just like five bucks I've got the really cool one for my helmet I'm gonna show that I'm hoping um, the one for my helmet if you can see the helmet it's a full motorcycle dot approved full face helmet and the color changing not the color changing but the flame LED light strip I hope this is gonna show up not much but anyway it looks really cool at night I'm doing this during the day so it's not showing up as good and there is like a whining sound when it's on if you can hear it you can go with the blinking the strobing or just the full-on flame kit and it looks really really cool at night when it's totally black out here in South Carolina they don't have the um, street lights on every street so riding at night it's a lot brighter you can get these kits on Amazon and eBay the light strips for your helmet as you see they have them from 10 bucks on up they have ones really expensive ones for like 200 bucks but this particular one was $35 if I can turn it um, it comes with really really sticky glue 
So I mounted the flames on the helmet. You clean off under it with um, an alcohol prep pad. And then the rechargeable power bank I put on the top with Velcro. And then I crazy glued um, the wires just so they were tight. Anyway, that's the one for my helmet. The color changing light kits for the scooter and my chest protector. I'm trying to hold this mic. Um, this sucks. I don't know how you guys are making these vids so good. I know I babble. I am hope I'm making you guys smile. And my brother in um, Toronto. Really, oh man, I hope you're watching this. I hope I'm making you smile. And for all the rest of you, I hope, I hope I'm making you all smile. This is all new to me. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, the videos, how to make them, how to make them fun. And really, I'm trying to make my vids fun. I know I babble a lot, but, you know, if you guys aren't doing anything anyway, you're watching the vids because you don't have anything else to do. So my babbling may help you smile. And now I lost where I was. So anyway, the color changing light kits. I got them from the Dollar General store and I'm gonna move my cam forward a lot there so I mounted two of them the white LED light ones on the front forks now you get for five dollars you get two like 30 inch light strips so I got two of them they were five bucks a piece and they come each one comes with the controller so you're gonna have extra controller and if I can find the one that will turn it on oh sorry I'm trying to turn on the power bank I'm gonna get into the power bank next oh this sucks anyway hang on Cue the sticky pads commercial. I'm trying to turn on the power bank. And the stupid power bank isn't coming on. There we go. The power bank is on. I'm picking up the mic. Now I'm going to power up the white LED lights. There. Okay, that is really, really bright. So I'm going to move the cam back. I hope it's showing this. I hope you're all smiling. You know, I suck at these vids, but I'm trying. So these LED light strips I got for the front are the white light. So they're going to match with the headlights. So I want the front to be really visible, and I wanted them to be white light to match the headlights. And they come with the option where you can change the two white colors if this is making sense you can do all kinds of patterns they flash this is the one that I like the best so this is the one I ride with at night and when you turn on the front um, headlights and add the helmet light strips that I got if this is making sense it's gonna be it's gonna make you a lot more visible at night so if you guys ride at night um, you definitely want the traffic to see you and I think this is really gonna let me stand out from you know everything and I've already had a few people stop me um, a couple bikers stopped me beeped their horns they pulled over and they asked me about the helmet light um, the flame light and the rest of this stuff that really blew their mind that I was going down the sidewalk on 60. They had to catch up to me and beep just so they could stop me and say, hey man, where did you get these? You know, what is that thing? Where did you get it? Because the traffic's going 50 and I was going 55 plus. So they had to catch up to me just to beep and stop and say, where did you get these color changing lights and the helmet and all that stuff? I know I'm babbling and I'm losing half of what I wanted to say. So let me turn these off okay I turned off the lights and I've had a few ask about the power banks so this power bank I'm gonna zoom up on it 
with the cam. Oh, it's not showing. This sucks. Anyway, you can get the power banks off of Amazon or eBay. And the best one that I have so far, again, I'm going to try and zoom in on it, is this little teeny tiny one. It's 500, I mean 5,000 milliamps. That's really, I think, all you need. And this tiny one that I got doesn't weigh anything. It's like 20, 0.22 of an ounce. And I've got, let me hold this up, a bigger power bank with four USB ports because I plan on hooking up more lights. And if you're curious, the USB port on the handlebars won't power these. They will charge my phone. It's like two amps, which I have no idea why they have this huge battery under the deck, but they only have two amps coming out of the bars. Makes no sense. But if you get these light kits, you're going to have to get a separate power bank. The lightest power bank I got was 5,000 milliamps on eBay. Um, Amazon has them too. They're like 15 bucks. I'm not going to be charging my phone, so they should run these LED light strips for hours. Um, and they're rechargeable. They don't weigh anything. The little tiny one on my chest protector, which I hope turns on. Oh, I have to turn on the power banks. There. Okay. Now let's see. Okay, I hope this is showing. I'm gonna turn the cam down. I mounted these on my chest protector. So these chest protectors you can get on Amazon and eBay for like 50 bucks. They do your, your back, your spine, your shoulders, and your elbows. And if you crash, you wanna slide down the street so when you look for gloves and chest protectors and uh, knee and shin guards you want to get the plastic pads so if you crash um, you want to slide it out if you get the gloves that have the palm protectors you guys gotta know what I'm talking about the ones that are really sticky when your hands which are the first things that you really really reach out with if you crash they're gonna hit the ground and stop and you're gonna break your wrist so look for like the um, the longboard skating gloves they have the pucks so gloves chest protectors knee and shin guards everything that you wear you want to slide down the street not stop dead and definitely wear the gear you guys worry you know flip-flop shorts and a t-shirt no gloves no helmet you're you're gonna regret not wearing all the gear so again I can't help babbling I'm trying to think um, for the kickstand yeah I wanted to bring up the kickstand the kickstand I'm gonna bring this over again I hope it shows I'm gonna pull it down more the kickstand really really has ripped my shins open like 47 times walking past it so I painted the top of the kickstand yellow just so I would try and see it and it hangs down really low so for you guys that ride off-road um, going over tree stumps and roots and that uh, the kickstand is definitely gonna catch the valve stems yes you guys look at the valve stems which way the valve stems I'm gonna try and get this so it'll show and again, this is from riding for 50 years. If it's showing, the valve stems that they have mounted in these tires are facing forward. So if you're riding through the woods and you catch a root or a branch or something sticking out with these valve stems, they're pointed forward. They're going to snag whatever. Um, I think that's really bad. Uh, I don't think these tires are going to last that long, so I'm going to be doing vids showing how I change the tires. I'm gonna stick with knobbies just in case I have to go off-road, but the way this thing spins the tires when you touch the throttle, I'm sure they're gonna wear out quick. But anyway, the valve stems, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn them 
so they're facing backwards just in case okay join the R um, not R but the uh, Cabot Wolfkin GT Pro group on Facebook check out Voros ask them for any help or advice that you might want about the scooter and Tone's adventures Tone is really cool hey man really thank you for the help and the advice that you've sent me I hope you like this vid showing the um, color changing lights the ones for the front forks they come with um, really sticky self adhesive pads so all I did was just I think it's three feet or four feet I just took the tape off I mounted them on the forks as you can see um, I used zip ties I'm gonna try and zoom in close I know this is a long vid and I'm babbling but I'm trying to show the best I can <laughs> with the GoPro that I hate but I use zip ties and the velcro straps you can see I adjusted so all the cables are behind the forks just in case the case I already did the vid about that the power bank goes in the case and the light strips went all the way down the forks I'm trying to set this down and I ended up cutting off if I can show this two lights out of the bottom of the strip the light strip you cut it across the the copper point where they show where to cut it so for the front forks I cut off an inch and I lost two lights which is big deal on the chest protector that's still glowing I ran them up over the shoulder guards and down my arms I'm gonna add color changing lights to the front so I should have four of them on my chest protector I really want to glow at night so anyway sorry to babble I know my vids are ridiculous long and I know I babble there's lots of stuff I forgot um, if anyone can help me make these vids offer advice be nice add a comment um, I'm asking for help and advice I'm not an expert at this tech stuff so I'm trying my best I really want to make cool vids